guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today's video I'm so excited to do because I haven't done one of these in a long time. It's a tag video. I saw Karen Harris do the Halloween tag while getting ready, and I thought it looked super fun. I believe the questions were sent in by one of her followers. I will have everything linked down below and all of the questions listed below if you want to do it but basically it's all like Halloween centered questions in this tag and I'm just going to be doing kind of a Halloween-ish look to go with it so let's zoom in and get started. put on my headband which hopefully won't mess up my curls but gotta keep my hair out of my face and just as as an idea of what we're going for makeup wise today I want to do something to kind of go with these nails these are nails from Shein but they're like purple and neon green and they seem kind of witchy to me so I did like like braids and curls to kind of get witchy hair and I'm wearing like a star shirt so we'll see where it goes we're gonna start with the eyes go from there could be a total disaster um the inspo photos I'm going off of are this one because of the drips because there are drips on these nails and then this one is from a reel on IG I will take both of those posts down below but I really like the like star and moon freckles but obviously neither of those color stories. So we're starting with nothing on because if I mess up my eyes, I don't wanna have to like redo my whole face just to take my eyes off and redo them. Um, and this is the Sigma eyeshadow base in Persuade. It is my like holy grail eyeshadow base and I've repurchased it several times at this point. I haven't been using eyeshadow bases lately to be honest. I've just been using concealer but I feel like this look might actually need it. So while I'm doing this look let's start with the first question. What is the first palette you used in October? I have to go through my pictures actually to determine that. Let's go back. Gosh, I have a lot of pictures. October, the first makeup look I did that I have photographic evidence of is my spider makeup look, which if you haven't seen it on Instagram, this is it. And I believe I used a ColourPop palette for the glitter and... Um... A Lorac palette maybe for the shading so I think it was the Lorac fairy tale forest I use that one quite a bit for shading different looks it's really got some nice cool toned mattes that are great for blending out but let's get started on my makeup look and this is probably going to be very very messy but I want to create kind of a rounded shape and this is also just inspiration. It's not going to be exactly what I'm going to do because my style is more like messy <laughs> than this. Like this look that she did is so clean and perfected and my style is definitely a lot more messy leaving. Okay, question number two. Purple and green versus orange and black which color combination do you prefer and is there a favorite eyeshadow palette that showcases that combination? Well, I think we all can tell by the fact that I'm freaking doing major purple and green today that purple and green wins for me over orange and black. Um, I would say the Hasina 2 palette was a beautiful purple and green palette. Um, I haven't found anything quite yet to replace it, but something that is pretty purple and green heavy that I really like is the Part 2 palette from Makayla and Glamlight. That has a lot of purples and greens. Okay, we got two colors laid down. The purple is looking more blended. I'm going to go into a third lighter purple. 
and answer question number three, which if you were a witch, which I'm dressing up as today, um, if you were a witch, who would you most want to be and why? Like out of famous witches? Um, I mean, Hermione Granger is a badass witch. I know we're all like not supporting Harry Potter, but it's hard to, to, to not um, when it's like a huge part of my childhood and everything. Hermione Granger is a really, really badass witch. She's like pretty epic. Um, I would also say like I really love the movie Practical Magic. So either of those sisters or the aunts, like they're very, very cool witches to me. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I've seen a lot of witchy stuff. I'm trying really hard to think of like other witches that are famous, but I, I truly can't. I, I'm not super into that kind of thing, so I can't think of any famous witches besides Practical Magic and Harry Potter. Okay, I think I've got that blended to an okay state. So I'm gonna try the Vaseline trick that I've seen lots of people do with like Q-tips and Vaseline to cut the crease. We'll see how this goes. I don't even know how much you need. I'm just like coating the Q-tip but not having like a bunch on it. And I'm gonna try and create that shape of the of the like half circle shape <sighs> okay I've cut the crease with Vaseline and I think it's like dried enough with the dry q-tip I got this like big tub from Walmart for super cheap by the way Vaseline is really affordable but I'm just going to take this neon UV paint to get that neon green that I'm looking for. And I'm going to kind of water it down with a setting spray to make it not so thick and creamy. And while I am doing that, we are going to answer question number four, which is favorite spooky subgenre, which is vampires, mummies, werewolves, etc. And... I mean, I'm, I'm like not into spooky, spooky stuff much at all. I really think scary stuff and spooky stuff gives me nightmares. I have no- Whoa! I just dropped the palette with the neon paint and caught it with my hand, with my hand in the paint. Okay, I got so thrown off by the freaking disaster of the paint that I didn't even remember what we were talking about. So favorite subgenre. Again, I don't really like scary things, but if I had to choose out of the ones listed, um... I mean, in high school, I was really into vampires, not Twilight, because that came out, like, after I graduated high school. Um, I'm that old. The Twilight came out after I graduated high school. This is not the best. It's really chunky. It's the right color, but damn it, it's not the best for preciseness, and it's looking like Poo -poo. Yeah, I was really into vampires in high school. I remember me and my friend Brittany. I don't know if she still watches my channel, but I still love her. And if I ever saw her again, she would still be like a good friend to me. And I still love her, although I haven't talked to her in years. But me and my friend Brittany were both into vampires. In high school and like especially the interview with the vampire and Queen of the Damned and all that and I really enjoyed that kind of content 
as well as like the underworld movies so I think vampires and werewolves definitely is my jam I'm gonna have to not answer questions while I do this liner part because this is bananas how hard this is okay so <laughs> yeah like I said, my style is more messy. I'm gonna, once this dries, try and touch it up a bit, but I tried paint, I tried neon pigment, and it just wasn't doing what I wanted, and now it's a mess. But I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not starting over. I'm not. And then I took Far Out in Transient from the Noctilucent palette on my lids, so like purple and green shimmery lids. And now I'm just going to, with green paint on my hands, prime my face and answer the next question. So number five, favorite spooky movie or book or show or character franchise? I mean, I kind of already answered that, um, but... I I think as far as spooky goes, I don't really enjoy it. Um, but I mean, it depends on your definition of spooky and my battery is dying. Okay, fresh battery and we're going to do foundation and I'm going to use my favorite sponge, which is the Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I don't even really wet it, I just spritz it a little with setting spray. And I am mixing today my Hourglass foundation because I really want to wear this. And then a little bit of my Lorac foundation to lighten it up. Just plopping that right on my face. Where was I when my battery died? So I think we were on number five. And basically, I don't like spooky stuff. So yeah, I do remember watching a lot of scary movies when I was younger but the older I got I think starting around like mid high school um I started really being affected by what I watched and having horrible nightmares that were like lifetimes of torture so yeah not into that but I don't know why I'm doing this tag I'm so stupid because like that's what this is but I wanted to do something Halloween themed. Number six, what eyeshadow palette or color combination would you um, wear to best represent the favorite spooky movie, book, show, character, franchise? Okay, if we're going, let's say we pick like Queen of the Dam because I freaking love that movie. I love Aaliyah. And um, there's actually a palette, I think, there's like dead skin on my nose, sorry. I'm not picking my nose, I'm not. Um, but there's actually a palette by I think Unearthly Cosmetics that's like Queen of the Dam themed, which is pretty cool, but I'd say that palette pretty much is is a good representation, so I don't I need a drink. I don't know what other palette to pick besides something like very like bronze goddessy because that's that's what she is and all of the products I'm using on my face by the way I will have linked down below what the heck my links are mainly affiliate links but you know it doesn't cost you anything extra to use affiliate links and if you want to not support me, I will have the names of the products and you can just Google them. But I would like to, you know, be able to improve this channel with lighting and sound and all of that. So I am trying to make a little money. And I appreciate everyone who uses my affiliate links. It really does help. I was able to order some new background lights that are coming soon that can do like the color changing background. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for those. Uh, 
I need a, what this was setting, sorry. And if you guys are curious about the Stands Out sponge, yes, it's like unique. It's like memory foam. It's really cool. Um, it actually is my favorite sponge of all time. And I have bought multiples, multiples of these. And I actually am an affiliate with Stands Out Beauty. And you can use my code down in the description box um, or I'll put it on the screen if I remember to <laughs> in editing but it's a really cool sponge with all these different sides and like it's the most unique texture and you can use it wet or dry so cool okay next question do, do, do. Turn my phone back on because it locks so freaking fast. Number seven. What spooky collaboration, person, franchise, or brand would you most want to see? I mean, have they done a craft one? Because I freaking... I actually, the craft is like a childhood movie for me. It's not a scary movie. It, it's like nostalgic for me. Um craft would be cool I would buy that it's it's like on the same level as clueless to me as far as nostalgia and um I'm trying to think of other scary movies you know what would be sick I know this is technically not scary because it's like children's stuff but if there was I know they've already done like a goosebumps movie and everything but if they did fear street I'd be all over that freaking Fear Street was the coolest. If you read Fear Street books, we are friends. <laughs> I love Fear Street so much. Um, I was the kind of kid, like, I hardly read now because I feel too, like, ADHD and busy. Like, I, I can't just calm down and sit down and focus on one thing. It's very difficult. But when I was younger, it wasn't as bad. And I would go through, like, a book a day. Like... I lived in the middle of nowhere, as I currently do, and there was a mail order library. And they would send you a catalog, because like, I don't have the internet, so I had to use a catalog. And you would fill out a card with all the books you wanted from the catalog, and you could put up to eight on that card, and you would mail the card in, and they would mail all those books back to you. And I would do that like once a week. <laughs> I loved reading as a kid so much and Fear Street like I loved Goosebumps but as I got older and like those were kind of little kiddish like I graduated into like the Fear Street a Fear Street collab would be sick it, it I would be all over that like I said I'm a messy person so my makeup is probably gonna be messy like when I do art any kind of art that I do my art is in a messy style because I'm just like not patient and I just like to throw stuff around and I think it's beautiful that way but I attempted like a clean style and that just was not 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 going well so yeah we're gonna fix it it's it's all gonna come together but I think now that I have my cream bronzer and concealer I'm gonna go in with a purple cream blush and I'm just going to use my sponge. And while I do that and get purple all over my face, we're going to go in with question number eight. And that is, ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. Super pigmented. I haven't used it with a sponge yet, only with a brush. And with a brush, it's a lot more diffused. And i got to remember, I haven't done my brows yet. Gotta do those brows before we call this look quits. Um, so do you have any current favorite spooky Halloween decor clothing jewelry item that you are loving right now? Um, I mean, I'm really loving the new Beauty Bay palette that I just got. The dark fantasy that I brought out to use tonight, but I'm pretty much only using the Surge. <laughs> Um, but I really love that, and that's Halloween themed. Uh, I love, like, fall scented candles. Why is it turning dark like that? Why does my camera fucking do that? I hope it's still recording. Um, I'm just gonna blush the whole thing. Um, mm, yeah, uh, my favorite 
things, I guess, is Halloween candy. Uh, I live for seasonal holiday candies. Easter candy, Valentine's Day candy, Halloween candy, all the candies. All the holiday candies. Like, the fact that I freaking found at the Dollar Tree, what was it? It was the coolest thing. It was, like, Nerds Candy Corn. That was so freaking good. I, I, I live for that. So that's my favorite. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my brows. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and brows are done and I threw on blush on top of my blush from the Fairy Blush Palette. I just wanted it to be a little more purple so I took Amethyst. And now I'm going to attempt to draw Star Moon Freckles while um, answering a question. So question number nine favorite halloween costume you wore and why um i haven't really dressed up for halloween a lot um since i was a kid you know i don't get out much but i will always remember my mom, when I was really little, she made... I have two sisters, and I need a different eyeliner. This one is not cutting it. But my mom, she hand-sewed herself a Sleeping Beauty princess outfit for her. And why are my eyeliners not inky? We'll try this one. So she hand sewed a Sleeping Beauty dress and made a crown for herself. And then for me and each of my sisters, she made us into the fairies, the three fairies. And I was the green fairy and I loved it. And I have never forgotten that costume. So yeah, as an adult, um, I remember like one of my first adult costumes I bought was like a sexy pirate costume from Hot Topic and I felt like so grown up and so cool in that one. I don't think I have any pictures of it. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. That's not even in my reference picture. I just did it. Just because I'm flipping weird. I think we're almost done. Um, number 10, the costume you've always wanted to wear but never have. For a while there, I was obsessed with Future Diary or The Future Diary. Like, I don't, I don't know, but it, it's an anime. It's very bloody, which is funny that I like, like, bloody animes and like action movies but I don't like scary movies <sighs> something's going on with my brain but I really like really bloody animes I do and Future Diary is so bloody and the main girl is so nuts I love her <laughs> I love her she's so nuts and um shoot uh she I haven't watched it in forever, but I believe her name is Yuno Gossai, and I, for quite a few years, begged my ex to dress up as Yuno in Yuki? I, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I watched the show, but I really loved the show, and oh, those are making kind of cool shapes. And then before I do anything else, I am going to get my toothbrush. I bought this toothbrush specifically for this look because I want to try splatter the neon paint on my face and I'm really hoping it doesn't go bad because it's been a long time since I've done anything like this. If I can make it go how I close your eyes, Rachel. Don't don't be dumb. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Getting it 
all over everything, but that's okay. <sighs> yeah, that looks so sick. Oh my gosh, this is getting wicked. I also grabbed this guy to put on the waterline, and then we'll finish up the questions. In just a minute, I gotta do lips and lashes, and what am I doing on my inner corner? Um, I feel like on the inner corner, I want to do, I brought out this, um, my New Year palette for this shade, and I think I want to do that shade, but layer it with a shimmer, but... Just this very bright, light green that's like brighter than the neon as far as lightness, but still goes. And then I'm going to take this guy, and I think uh, because it's like a little more like yellowy, I'm going to mix the yellow and the green together and layer it on top. I'm like living for the Noctilucent palette. It is so good. So good. Okay, I'm gonna put lashes on and then I will be right back to do lips and answer the rest of the questions. Okay, lashes are on. This look is definitely coming together. I'm going to put on lips and go ahead and answer the final questions. So number 10, the oh, already answered that one. Number 11, favorite Halloween treat? I mean, just all the freaking candy, man. Like, that and like the fun cocktails that come out of Halloween, super fun. Love that. Um... I can't think of any specific thing that I fully look forward to. I do like candy corn, but I'm like not hardcore into candy corn. Um, like if there was no candy corn, I'd survive. But I do like it. Number, okay, let's let's put this on. This is, I know I just put lip balm and just wiped it off, but my lips need a moisture, but I didn't want too much. This is Angela from Unearthly. I'm going to use this kind of on the outer parts of my lips. Okay, so that is the purple outline, and then I have this from Halloween last year. This is the limited edition Mega Last Matte in Booga Booga from Wet n Wild. All right, guys, this is the finished witchy, messy green and purple look. I think it turned out really cute. I, I like it. I have braids and curls and like stars and I feel like it all goes really well with these nails that I was inspired by from Shein. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We have one more question. God, I hope this video isn't an eternity long. 12. Any other spooky recommendations this season? I say if you have an opportunity to go to a corn maze, do it. Even though it's scary and I don't like scary, corn mazes are so much fun. If you have an opportunity to do a corn maze this season, do it, go, you won't regret it. Um, that wraps up the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and rambly all over tag video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!